International Speci Specialization, Crazy Cambridge, IGCSE Economics 0450. Welcome back to Crazy Cambridge. So what is Crazy Cambridge about? Here I provide IGCSE and AS explanatory videos. AS subjects include business, economics, and accounting. IGCSE videos include business, economics, accounting, biology, physics, math, and English. I also provide Tips on IGCSE and AS. Specialization is when a nation concentrates its productive efforts on producing a limited variety of goods and services in which they're really efficient and productive. And it has an advantage over other economies. For example, Saudi Arabia, mostly um, they specialize in petroleum and they make a fortune off of it. Specialization is determined on the basis of either resource allocation or cost of production. Now let's look at what absolute advantage. This is when one country can produce more efficiently than another country by producing more of a good or a service with the same amount of resources or producing the same amount of a good or a service with fewer resources. Example, India has an absolute advantage in operating call centers and it is abundant and cheap labor force compared to Western countries. Comparative advantage is when one country can produce a good at a lower opportunity cost in terms of goods and services being foregone than an other country. It takes into account the opportunity cost incurred in producing each good. For example, India may have an absolute advantage in operating call centers against Philippines, but it has lower opportunity costs in other IT industries than Philippines. Thus, Philippines has in recent years seen a growing call center industry, while India has seen their decline. You are not required by the syllabus to know the terms absolute advantage and comparative advantage, but only the principles are need to be known. Advantages of international specialization, economies of scale and efficiency. So countries can specialize in what they do best, and this will lead to efficiency and economies of scale, which will reduce costs and the world output will also increase. Job creation, so specialization leads to increased output and therefore it will lead to more investment and jobs will be created. Thus the labor will be skilled and the earnings will be higher. It allows more international trade to take place. Therefore goods and services produced under the most efficient conditions can be traded and all countries can benefit from them. Revenue to the government, as income increases and more trade takes place, it can increase government revenue from taxes. Wider markets, specialization and trade allows firms to sell their products to international markets. It will help building international brands and increase market shares and profits. Consumer sovereignty, consumer across the globe will be able to buy cheap and high quality products from around the world. Disadvantages are structural unemployment, so even though national level specialization usually creates more jobs, there is a risk that certain types of structural unemployment might occur as the country moves towards specialization, the workers in the declining industries will be put out of work. Overexploitation of resources, output may be increased by overexploiting. Today, international specialization and trade is causing rapid depletion of non-renewable resources like coal and oil. Threat of foreign competition. Non-specialized industries of a country will face fierce competition from the foreign countries that specialize in them. Risk over specialization because more international dependence on other countries for trade. They will have to sell their specialized products to other countries and buy other products in need from abroad. Strategic vulnerability, relying on other countries for vital goods and services makes a country dependent on the other countries. Political or, political or economic changes abroad may impact the supply of goods or services available to the country. This is the end of the topic. I hope you understood this topic well. Thank you for watching Crazy Cambridge. Please do subscribe, like and share.